How many miles per gallon do you think this boat can go? So to make this interesting, I'm putting 99 cents worth of fuel into this boat and we're gonna see how far that'll take us. Uh, I don't think there's anything really to worry about if I have to swim the boat in. Can I get 99 cents please on pump three? We got 0 0.304 gallons. How far do you think that'll take us in this boat? And I'm going full throttle. I'm not partial throttle. How far we went on 99 cents of fuel? The answer, my friends, is miles. With this much fuel, I can make it from Florida to the Bahamas. Hi friends, I'm Forrest and welcome to this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while where I'm going for the ultimate record in fuel efficiency. We are about to test this boat and see how many miles per gallon we can get. If you haven't seen this skiff yet, you'll want to click the link above and see the full build. Let's get this video started. Right now, times are tough for everybody, me included. So I'm on a constant mission to build the most fuel efficient boat. So what better challenge than to see how far I can go on this skiff on 99 cents? Yes, less than a dollar. That's the test. Let's put some gas in this bad boy and get to running. Can I get 99 cents, please, on pump three? 99 cents on pump three. That's it. Thank you. Pump is set. Always take your gas cans out of your vehicle. All right, so there it is, 99 cents. We got 0 0.304 gallons. How far do you think that'll take us in this boat? All right, so we got the six horsepower. The Suzuki, I think this is a 2019 motor. Um, it has got a ton of hours on it. I use it, I use it as a backup motor. I use it in the mooring field to move things around. So for this test run, you know, this boat doesn't need much to be finished. All I'm gonna do is finish a little rail around the top, but I've got spare fuel. I've got way overkill for an anchor. And chain. And of course, as always, I've got my trusty Florida paddles. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, what's there to worry about? Uh, I don't think there's anything really to worry about if I have to swim the boat in. So the way we're gonna do this is, I am going to top this motor off until it overflows. I'm gonna try to not run it out of gas. I'm gonna come back and then I brought a measuring cup. We're gonna pour gas into it and we're gonna slowly add fuel until we reach the top of the fuel tank. So that's gonna give us how many ounces of fuel we use. And then I've got this app on my phone, the Navionics app. I'm gonna start, as soon as we start underway, I'm gonna start the trip. And basically it's gonna give us a track. It's gonna give us average speed and how much time we're traveling. And of course the distance traveled. So by the amount of fuel we used and the distance traveled, we're gonna know how many miles per gallon. We can calculate the whole thing. I'm excited. This is, I've seen some other videos where people have gotten some really crazy numbers. The cool thing about this is that this isn't some like super lightweight John Boat, aluminum, flat bottom. This is a sea going, you know, fiberglass. This thing rides. This is no slouch. Um, if you haven't seen some of the past videos, you'll see this boat absolutely tearing up some chop. Um, this boat is so fuel efficient and, and capable of high speeds, but this really is probably my favorite setup. The six horsepower motor, super simplicity, built-in gas tank. I can run an external gas tank here if I wanted to run external, but um, these motors don't burn anything super lightweight, shallow draft. But the cool thing about this fuel efficiency set test is that this is an actual vessel that you could take out of an inlet. You can go around. If the wind picks up, there's chop. This boat rides out. So let's see what this thing can do. Throw it in the water and get underway. First pull, always. Oh, Anytime you say first pull, you're jinxing yourself. It 
It's funny how just a little bit of wind and it just blows this thing around. Here we go. Not too bad. So because it's been so windy and rough um, on the river intercoastal, I came here. This is like a brackish water area. Perfect, blah, blah, blah. Perfect place for a test run. So I've got the Navionics track engaged and now I'm about to go for a cruise and let's see what kind of mileage we get. So I'm only doing about 12 miles an hour, um, which if you saw the first video of this build where I tested it with a couple different motors, I think I was getting like 16 miles per hour, 15, 16. So I'm definitely, you can see how fast I'm drifting here. Um, the headwind's definitely hurting right now, but I'm gonna go, I think my game plan is I'm gonna just try to head upwind for a good 10 minutes, maybe 15, and then turn around and, and ride the tailwind back. So what hurts there will help on the way back. Yeah. All right, so I've been going um, into the wind I hope it's not too windy for the wind noise, but um, so I'm turning around, time to head downwind. I was averaging probably 13, 13 and a half miles per hour against the wind. So hoping to see some like 16, 17, I don't know, the, probably end up hitting rev limiter, honestly, with this prop. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire it up and let's cruise back. Let's do it. I'd like to take this moment to thank you for watching. If this is your first time to the channel, I highly suggest you check out some of the other builds that I've done. Some of the Bahamas crossings, Florida to the Bahamas, Bahamas back on little boats like this, or check out some of the builds that I've done. And for all of you that are returning, you guys know how much I appreciate you and your views, your likes, your comments are my favorite. So keep commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On with the video. Been running for probably 20 minutes at least. Still on one tank of fuel. This would be crazy to see what we burn. And I'm going full throttle. I'm not partial throttle. Still on the original tank of gas. Not bad. We probably were cruising about 30 minutes. 30 minutes on, I don't even know what this tank holds in fuel. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm very curious with the how far we went on 99 cents of fuel. That's gonna be the big one. So what do you think? How many miles per gallon do you think this gift actually gets? That's the big question. Okay, so here's a moment of truth. We have 26 ounces of gas in here. Let's see. Oh man, let me tell you what, oh gosh. 
I don't know, it looks about halfway full. So total trip was just over four miles, 4.1 miles on the Navionics app. So can't really do math right this second, but let's see what this does. Oh God. It's definitely thirsty. Oh, you're right there. Let's see. A little more. Oh, okay. Here we go. And we're on the same ramp, same angle, same everything. So we're being consistent. We probably poured a little more than last. So we are right at six, six ounces. I don't know, nothing around here is level, but we're right about five and a half, six ounces. Um, so that means 20 ounces of fuel used to go 4.1 miles. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty good mileage, actually. Gosh, 0.3. We're gonna have to do some math, some calculations real quick. So what was the overall miles per gallon we achieved? Well, 26 point something miles per gallon we achieved in this skiff not exactly what I was hoping for, but you know, the cool thing is this is real world conditions. Um, out there on the water, there was definitely a big wind. It, especially in a lightweight skiff like this, this is a micro skiff. I mean, this whole thing, you know, it's not super light, but it's less than 200 pounds. And when the wind's pushing it around and the chop and against the bow, you know, this is no low side boat. This bow is very proud and definitely catches wind. So. To get 26 miles per gallon in real world conditions, I was hammering the throttle. I stopped a bunch of times. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I think probably if I were to go in ideal situation, ideal um, conditions and not on and off the gas, stopping, turning around, doing all that stuff, probably could get over 30 miles per gallon. I'm pretty confident on that. Um, one of the things that happened as well is I was over revving a bunch. I kept hitting rev limiter and have to get off the throttle when I was going downwind. So I didn't really get to take full advantage of the downwind portion. So all in all, I'm stoked. I mean, pretty impressive. So with 99 cents of fuel, a couple ounces more than this, the million dollar question, how far did we get? Well, we got eight miles, eight miles, 7.97 miles calculation off 99 cents of fuel um pretty amazing when you really look at it like this so here's the craziest part about this entire experiment and what makes me go hmm about my bahamas trips with this much gas this is two and a half gallons that means i could go over 60 miles with this much fuel and for those of you that don't know, Miami to Bimini Bahamas is 49 miles. That means, hmm, <laughs> do you guys feel what I'm brewing up? That means with this much fuel, I can make it from Florida to the Bahamas. Oh man, my brain's, my brain. How many of you guys want to see me go to the Bahamas and just pack this much fuel? on this skiff, that would be a pretty incredible video. If you haven't seen any of my Bahamas crossings on small boats, you'll definitely wanna see the video that's somewhere down here where I cross to the Bahamas in these skiffs. So that concludes our ultimate fuel efficient test run experiment. Um, maybe one day I'll do a part two to it, probably not, but thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.